Hi guys, it's the season to be jolly. It's Christmas season and I'm here with a video that's going to help you glow during Christmas like noticeable. Like people will always be looking at you like, hey, 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 hey. So let's just proceed to add some life into this face. Let's just add some eyebrows, some lip color, some eyeshadow, and I'm going to do a green eyeshadow makeup look to match the season. As we said, it's Christmas season. So we're going to do a green shimmery eyeshadow makeup look so that we can be shimmery and bright and look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, so let's head on to add some life into this video. I don't have a spoolie. Yes, I've never bought one. And I always forget, I don't know why, anytime I start filming is when I realize I don't have a spoolie, but let's just proceed to color in the eyebrows, or basically to create some eyebrows. Yeah, so basically what I've done is I've just filled in my brows with this pencil. I think I even lost the footage or something of the sort. <laughs> yeah, I've realized that I lost the footage to doing these brows, but I've just filled it in with this pencil. It claims it's a dark brown pencil, but it's not dark brown, it's sort of reddish brown, like a burgundy pencil. Yeah, but that's just what I have ended up looking like. And as I've said, I don't have a spoolie. I always realize I don't have a spoolie when I'm filming, by the way. Because I don't do my eyebrows every day, like when I'm going to work and stuff. So, um, my mistake, my mistake, guys. My mistake. I'm just going to take this LA Girl Primer in the color white. And the reason I normally use a white primer is because it just makes the colors more visible. You know, light is like, white, white is like a very light color. So if you apply it and then apply your eyeshadow, your eyeshadow will definitely be most visible. I don't usually have to use primers that are the same color as my skin or something of the sort, no. It's because I want the eyeshadow to be visible. And this one is by LA Colors. And as I've said in a previous video, it dries out very quickly. It cakes very fast, like it forms a cake. So you have to like uh, brush it out hurriedly so that it doesn't form a cake. Let me just brush. You know, if you don't brush it out hurriedly, it will dry down as a cake. And you don't really want cakey uh, base. So it makes my eyes look really yellow. But you get the drift. Yeah, I know, just applied it randomly, but we'll fix that later on. Next, I'm just going to take this copper eyeshadow from this Imbo palette. If you know the meaning of Imbo, like this video. <laughs> I guess it's an old school term. But yeah, from that Imbo uh, beauty palette from Huda Beauty. Basically, it's a fake palette from Huda Beauty. It wasn't an original. And I'm just going to apply that copper shade. You know copper and green go together. They're like opposites. On this spectrum of colors you know so I'm just going to apply that all over my below my eye next I'm just going to take this dark green color here or either one of these three colors will do because they basically look the same so I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to apply it like in the crease of my eye and what I mean by crease of eye I mean this part here between you know the I'm just going to apply, apply, and make sure that it's thoroughly applied. I really don't want to do like a cut crease because I feel like a cut crease has become too much. But just apply it in the crease of your eye. And this is a matte shade of green, by the way. Very matte. Because I want to reserve the shimmer shade for the eyelids. Next, I'm just going to take like such a brush and I'm going to take a black eyeshadow. I think I'll use this same palette, this black here. And I'm just going to apply it on the outer corner of my eye, like outer, like this way. Just a bit. That is too much black, but we'll blend it. We'll have to blend it out, eh? Yeah. So I'm just going to like... 
blend it out with the green. I've taken most green, eh? and I'm just going to blend this out so that it can create like a smoky effect. Yeah, like that. So I'm going to take more green and do it this way. Just going to take another clean brush and just like add green. I noticed that the background noises had become too much, so I just have to do a voiceover. I'm just taking that teal shade that I'm holding over there, and I'm going to apply it on my eyelids. Now, that's a shimmer shade, unlike the previous one that I was applying in the crease of my eye. The one in the crease of my eye was a matte shade. This one is a shimmer shade. So I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid, and I'm going to make sure that I blend it into the matte shade. Next, I'm just taking like that uh, glittery white, yeah, like silvery white eyeshadow, and I'm applying it into the inner corners of my eye. Now, I have to make sure that I blend it up well so that it, you know, it blends into each other. All those colors blend into each other, the white, the the, the shimmer green, the matte green, and the black green. For this step, I'm taking a dark green eyeshadow pencil. It's not an eyeshadow pencil, it's an eye pencil, eyeliner pencil. And I'm just going to apply it on my lower eyelid. This specific eyeliner pencil has shimmers in it, or like glitters in it. So it's dark green with glitters. So I'm just taking a wet wipe and I'm, up, I'm trying to clean the area before I apply my foundation. You know, because this I noticed that these eyeshadows have a lot of fallout, a lot, a lot of fallout. So they've fallen all over my face. So I'm just trying to clean it before. I'm just going to take some mascara because as I said in a previous video nowadays, I'm not a fan of fake lashes. I'm completely not a fan. I guess maybe because fake lashes make you look older if you're already old, like you're already not a teenager. Like teenagers look good in fake lashes, but um, sort of like really older people look older. Not that I'm really older, but you get the point. <laughs> like unless you're really doing like a nude makeup look or like a plain makeup look, sometimes they can age you. I don't know whether I'm the only one who green eyeshadow normally makes my eyes look yellow. But I guess it's not the most flattering shade on a lot of people. But yeah, let's just do this video. Who knows how I made this Maybelline fit me in the shade 352, which is truffle, cacao. And as I've said in a previous video, this is actually not my shade. It's actually slightly darker. It gives me a mask, so it tends to look like it's lighter, but it's actually darker. But because I've gotten a serious sun tan, I guess this will have to do. I'm so happy that Jumia, if you're a Kenyan and you're watching this, 
that Jumia actually put that uh, up on the Maybelline store. I think the Maybelline people, the ones that you test, like, to get your real skin tone. Because we were just buying, like, makeup blindly without testing, you know. Like, you don't even know your skin tone unless you go to a beauty shop so that you can get it tested. And maybe where you live, there's no beauty shop. So Jumia actually put on the Maybelline store uh, their tester, basically. For testing foundation shades and like setting powder shades and all that so right now you just don't buy blindly like from jumia like the shade yeah as i can see the shade has actually like become like my skin shade kabisa it never used to be my skin shade but now i can see like this 352 is sort of becoming my shade I think I need to wipe some of this excess before I like proceed. <laughs> yeah, and let me just remove this excess. And I actually forgot to wing my eyes. I don't know what the issue is. Maybe I've been thinking of other things so much. I've forgotten how to do makeup. Let me just finish applying this eyeshadow and then I think I'll do a winged eyeliner. You know, to just complement the smoky eye. Winged eyes look really good with like a smoky eye and I'm trying so hard to like blend in this and it's blending so well I finally become the skin color of this um, foundation it used to be darker and it would actually make me look like I'm wearing a mask like in real life but it was actually because it was darker. But now it is perfect. Like, seriously, it looks like my skin. Bring this eye really quick so that at least... Um, oh, this, I don't know whether it's dried out or it's the black that is not really showing but it's not really showing so much maybe because i applied like black at the ends of my eyes i don't know Now, because I've cleaned some of this eyeshadow that was excess over here, I'm just going to add a bit of foundation again and blend it in. I don't know if anyone has noticed, but the middle in this with me foundation, at least the one we get in Kenya, is so little, my friend. This is so little. Like it's over. I think I have to purchase another one. So what I'm doing here is just I'm dabbing in that foundation. I'm just blending it in. You're not supposed to like streak it. Otherwise it will have lines on it. So just dab it in until it um, matches your skin. Use this NYX Wonder Stick to contour. So let me just try and like contour my nose. So I've drawn that. Just add a bit here, down here. brush and I'm going to dab this in I to highlight my cheeks, huh? my cheeks 
have like under eyes so you need to be highlighted Make sure that you like dab it in, don't swipe it because it's going to leave lines or streaks on your face. Just try and contour this nose yeah, for this shade here. And I can just make it thinner, slimer. Better, but you get the drift. Yeah, there. So, so I'm just going to take this brightening powder, and I'm going to just apply it under my eyes. To brighten that area. Uh huh. And as that bakes or whatever it normally does, we are going to. Whew, that is a lot of powder. I'm just going to try and like apply. Uh, let me change the brush. Apply like uh, this fit me setting powder to the rest of my face. Where are my other brushes? really be organized there eh? should have that cutting that a hole there and I could actually like do here yeah. and just apply this and let it set that uh, under eyes for a few minutes I think we can now remove this. I never usually leave it on for so long. some of this Miss Rose uh, highlighter and we're just going to like boop, slide right there yeah finally I'm taking this lip gloss it's just like it has copper in it, copper glitters or something of the sort. Yeah, it's copper glitters actually. Wow, <laughs> this looks so 2000s. Yeah. 
wow i look like i'm from the 2000s honestly i don't know whether it's the thin brows let me try and thicken them out a bit so this is the final results good people and uh, of course i could have done my eyebrows better but i didn't have another shade of eyebrow pencil that i could use but yes i bet you can definitely recreate such a look very simple not a cut crease just a simple green eyeshadow christmas look yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and to like